Welcome to GC Cars, my name is Eric and today we're going to take a highway POV test drive on this 2022 GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate and specifically what we want to test is of course Super Cruise, the autonomous self-driving feature but before we do that just a quick reminder that if you want to hear all my thoughts on this 2022 GMC Sierra Denali and see if it's worth $100,000 Canadian click in the top right hand corner for my full review. With that being said, we're gonna merge on here and then we're on a Super Cruise enabled highway, the 401 here in Toronto and see how well this drives itself. Of course, autonomous and completely automated uh, lane changes. So it automatically also decides to change lanes. So yeah, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just see how it goes. We've had it in the Escalade before and it worked really well. So I'm pretty confident in it. So I want to get up to speed here before we start doing stuff. So we need to have cruise control enabled, which we have. So it's just the system enabled, not active, but and at any point it should tell us in the HUD, like a little steering wheel emblem appears and then it says, hey, I can do I can do super cruise. Now it's appearing for me, but I do want to get over there still. Because we gotta go somewhere. Okay, with that being said, let's hit Super Cruise button and Super Cruise is enabled, green light. You might see purple LEDs flashing, I do not see those. Those are the ones that monitor my eyes essentially because I'm still required to look ahead but I can take the hands off the steering wheel because it's a level 2 autonomous system that allows you to just monitor it. Of course, you know, take a look at the mirrors, take a look at the surroundings, make sure to intervene if anything where to happen, but I have yet to see Super Cruise fail at anything, but that's also because I'm careful with it. I don't try to put it into situations where it might not be able to handle it. You know, I just gotta work around some of the limitations the tech still has, but as you can see, it works pretty well. And I've been using it almost every day during the week I've had it, especially once I hit congestion or traffic jams, I just like to turn it on and basically let the truck do the annoying driving and once it's flowing again then I'll take back over this is the full one so it's always a little congested but this is very accurate to what you would probably want to have super cruise do right this is exactly the kind of driving you don't necessarily want to do yourself and once we get past the semi here on the right we might be able to give the lane change a test I don't really want it to automatically change lanes I will be honest because the system doesn't always know exactly which lane would be the best because it just it lacks the force it right I can look around the corner and all that the system just doesn't know that much but we can enable them and do them ourselves so I just indicate right that's looking for an opening it found the opening changes lanes and there we go pretty straightforward so my cruise control is set to a certain speed we are underneath well we're, we're slower than that speed right now so if we set it up even more it will probably switch back to the left side here in a second although we're just speeding up right now because if we're going slower than the speed i've set cruise control to it will try to move over so maybe let's uh do that let's try to initiate an automatic lane change here we have there's plenty of space on the left lane as soon as the Equinox in front of us clears that lane. <laughs> no, the Honda goes. No, you were supposed to stay. As opposed to. Oh, whatever. Let's set it down a little. I don't really want to overtake here. Maybe we'll do it with the semi. Now, this is a little bit of a tighter corner. I'm just taking my hands here just in case. Like I said, Super Cruise is an awesome system. It's the best I've ever tested. But it's still an autonomous system, so there's always a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of extra safety I want to have. <laughs> so it wants to lane change now to the left. Like I said, I didn't initiate anything. It saw the gap. It takes the gap. And here we go. Because it saw, okay, the semis are going a little slow. And that was actually pretty good because the gap wasn't too big. It was big enough, but I didn't expect it to take it. So, like I said, I love Super Cruise. <laughs> It's 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 awesome. It's an awesome feature. And I literally don't have to do anything. This is like the easiest POV test drive I can do. <laughs> 
We're gonna do this for like another minute or two maybe. But I think I've shown you the most important stuff. We've shown a few turns, we've shown automatic lane changes both initiated by me and by the truck. And it worked flawlessly, no, inter no intervention necessary at all. I like it, very much like it, and I can't wait for it to spread further in the General Motors lineup, because it is a great feature. Of course, you're still not allowed to use your phone. It's not a level three autonomous system, it's still level two. <laughs> so it might be tempting, but don't do it. No phone usage, you monitor. Just as a little PSA here. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure because the semi was very far and left in his lane and we start kind of started getting towards the right side of our lane so I just wanted to make sure but once again didn't have to intervene. Just always good to be ready, right? Smooth acceleration and deceleration whenever the chain speed changes of the surrounding traffic. Okay, but I think with that, we can conclude this highway POV test drive, the Super Cruise test. It works extremely well, as you've seen, and I love, love, love the system. And yeah, we have two more POV test drives, though. We have one at night where we test the headlights and the automatic high beams, and we do a little bit of an emergency braking scenario. And then we have one in the city where we, you know, a bit more slow speed, kind of daily driving, commuting in city limits. Look at that and like I said full review right now on your screen and if you like the video why not consider subscribing because we upload videos hybrid PV test drives and all that literally every single week about all sorts of cars from luxury trucks like this to electric cars sports cars regular commuter cars we got it all now we stay in this land thank you so much for watching I hope you liked it and I'll see you next one thank you and goodbye